<coughs> so the last session topics are we discussed about containers and types of dependency injections and the dependency types we discussed right yeah so while doing dependency injection for doing dependency injection there are two types of dependency injections there are two types of dependency injection styles we have one is setter dependency injection and one is parameterized constructor by using a parameterized constructor we can do dependency injection <coughs> in case if you have a class with only one single parameterized constructor if you have a class with only one single parameterized constructor to inject a property if you have a class with only one single constructor <coughs> if you have only one single constructor without calling that constructor is it possible to create that class object if you declare only one single parameterized constructor without calling constructor we can't able to create object so in case of constructor dependency injection injecting properties are mandatory in case of setter method it is not mandatory right in case of constructor dependency injection compulsory values we need to supply into parameterized constructor if you pass parameter then only it will find parameterized constructor in your class and it will create object but in case of setter method it is not mandatory to pass values so in case of setter dependency injection it is not mandatory to pass all the values but in case of constructor dependency injection it is mandatory to pass parameters if you want to make setter dependency injection also compulsory there is one concept to make setter dependency injection compulsory we have one concept dependency checking by using this dependency checking concept you can make by using this concept the main aim of this concept is what the main aim of concept dependency checking concept to make setter dependency injection is mandatory to make your setter dependency injection mandatory <coughs> to make setter dependency injection mandatory you can go through this dependency checking concept by default constructor dependency injection is mandatory to make setter dependency injection mandatory you can go through de this dependency check where we have to apply this dependency check for which bean you want to apply that dependency checking in case if you have a bean with multiple parameters and setter methods for that bean if you want to apply setter dependency injection mandatory in that bean declaration we have to use one attribute we have to use one attribute dependency check you have to use one attribute along with your bean id along with your bean class you have to use one attribute dependency check attribute along with bean id along with your bean id along with your bean id and class you have to use one attribute dependency check this dependency check values if you apply here then whatever the bean you are declaring here for that bean it will ask ioc container will ask compulsory you need to pass parameters actually in case of setter dependency injection we don't have any limitations only we should we should not override that limitation only we have here but if you want to apply checking if you want to make mandatory setter dependency injection also mandatory you can apply dependency checking attribute here you can apply dependency check attribute here to your particular bean the attribute name dependency check by default this value dependency check value is by default it is no no or none 
by default it will not ask us setters right without passing without calling setter methods also we can create a bean it is not mandatory to call setter methods right so by default at this value the default value of dependency check it is none and here how many values you can apply here one is none and you can apply simple here and you can apply objects here and you can apply all here you can go through simple objects or all so if it is a none then it is not mandatory to call setter methods without calling setter methods also you can create object of your bean class let's say if you have a bean class test and with multiple parameters private string name and if you have setter methods here if you have respective setter methods if you want to do setter dependency injection into this class in case if you want to apply dependency checking none if you want to apply dependency checking none here in case of none it is not mandatory to pass to call setter methods if dependency checking none if you want to use in that case beans and beans bean id t class name test class and by default this value is dependency hyphen check value it is none in this case it is not mandatory to call setter methods here without calling setter methods this bean declaration is valid here this bean declaration is valid declaration you no need to pass any values but if you apply dependency checking if you apply dependency checking simple if you apply dependency checking simple here yeah i'll take two dependencies let's take here car example car name and engine reference private engine engine reference so take one primitive and one secondary type private string model year it is not mandatory to call setter methods of car class how many properties here we have car name and engine one property reference is primitive type and one property reference is secondary type but you no need to call any setter methods primitive setter method you no need to call and secondary type setter method also you no need to call from car class without calling the two setter methods you can create car class object right but if you apply simple if you apply simple if you want to apply simple here then you have to apply this simple in case if you want to make setter dependency injection mandatory which is setter primitive setter method if you want to restrict only primitive setter methods if you want to restrict then you can go through simple attribute bean id c class name car class and you can apply here dependency check simple if you apply dependency check simple then it is mandatory to pass which values only primitive values compulsory you should pass primitive values so we have only one primitive value car name so here in this class what we have one car name is primitive and engine is secondary type so dependency checking we are applying for which class car class so if you apply dependency checking simple then it is mandatory to call car name car name setter method compulsory you should call why because the data type is 
primitive type so it is mandatory to call property and property name car name and value compulsory you should pass then this one also valid document in case without passing car name if you try to pass only engine reference engine reference if you try to pass without calling car name then container will force us to pass car name container it will ask us compulsory you need to pass car name value so what which kind of exception it will return unsatisfied dependency injection error exception it will return unsatisfied dependency exception the reason you have dependency checking attribute here in case of dependency checking attribute you must need to pass primitive values or else you need to remove dependency checking so if you apply dependency checking simple means it is mandatory to call primitive setter methods primitive data type setter methods compulsory you should call okay if you want to make secondary type dependency injection compulsory secondary object dependency injection compulsory this engine dependency injection compulsory if you want to do then you can go through objects objects yes objects then beans and beans bean id c class name car class and dependency check is dependency check objects if you apply dependency check objects <coughs> then it is mandatory to pass secondary types secondary type setter dependency injection is compulsory secondary type setter dependency injection compulsory here so compulsory you need to call property name engine and engine what we have to pass for engine reference you have to pass so you have to create a reference bin also here you have to create a reference bin bin id e class name engine class then this engine reference you have to pass here in case of objects it is mandatory to call secondary type setter methods secondary type setter methods you need to call compulsory you need to call then this one also valid document in case if you want to make primitives and secondaries both if you want to make primitive types dependency injection and secondary types dependency injection primitive types setter dependency injection and secondary types setter dependency injection if both if you want to make it mandatory then you can go through value all you can apply all in case of all it is mandatory to pass all the dependencies bean id engine class name engine class in engine class we have one dependency right model here but is it mandatory to call this engine class setter method it depends if you want to make it mandatory then that model here type is primitive so then what we have to apply for engine if you want to apply dependency checking you can apply dependency checking in case if you want to make it mandatory that one is primitive type right so then you can apply simple then here also it is mandatory to pass property name model year model year value you should pass here and create engine ref uh, class reference car reference here it is engine dependency check for car i want to make both setters mandatory property 
प्रॉपर्टी नेम कार नेम वैल्यू एंड प्रॉपर्टी नेम इंजन इंजन रेफरेंस ई सो कंपलसरी यूनिट टू कॉल टू सेटर मेथड्स हियर यू हैव टू कॉल वन प्रिमेटिव टाइप एंड वन सेकेंडरी टाइप एंड फॉर इंजन क्लास आल्सो वी हैव वन कंपलसरी एट्रीब्यूट मॉडल हियर सो दिस डिपेंडेंसी चेकिंग कॉन्सेप्ट मेन एम इज बाइजिंग दिस डिपेंडेंसी चेकिंग we can make what we can make we can make setter dependency injection mandatory actually by default setter dependency injection is not mandatory constructor dependency injection is mandatory but to make setter dependency injection also mandatory they given this dependency check attribute by using this dependency check attributes we can apply we can make your setter dependency injection also mandatory by default the default value is none if it is none it is not mandatory to call any setter method here we are not calling any setter method here without calling any setter method you can create car class object but in case if you apply for car dependency check simple we have an option simple in case if you apply simple here it is mandatory to call primitive setter methods so compulsory you need to call here a primitive setter method set car name primitive data type setter method you need to call in case if you want to make setter dependency injection secondary data type setter dependency injection mandatory <coughs> you can apply dependency check value objects objects if you apply objects then it is mandatory to inject secondary data types 